black holes are the region in space time that occur when a body is compressed to a point so heavy and dense that after a certain point not even light and its electromagnetic bodies can mount up enough energy to escape it its surface the event horizon is all but the matter that was unfortunate enough to go too deep into the black hole while black holes are popularly known as cosmic vacuum cleaners they are much more than we see them to be hello and welcome today we're discussing on the properties and mysteries surrounding black holes i hope that by the end of this you will have understood how black holes work to truly understand black holes we must go all the way to the beginning here we have a star that is huge chunky and heavy it's so hot that it burns the total energy we are able to generate in years in a matter of seconds these stars do not last very long as they chug up all the hydrogen fueling them up in a matter of millions of years This lack of fuel in the star causes it to enter what is known in the field of nuclear fusion as iron peak when our energy is consumed rather than released to fuse existing elements into their successive elements so when a star reaches iron peak it loses all energy to keep burning on this causes huge pressure under which the star initially thrived in to turn on the star collapsing it to an extent that all its mass gets compressed down then goes off in a thermonuclear fashion similar to what all our modern nuclear weapons are capable of but at a much much larger scale even after the explosion the star continues collapsing this goes on on to an extent when the star becomes infinitely heavy and infinitely dense this is a black hole whether a star would die to form a neutron star white dwarf or a black hole was up for grabs for over 200 years until einstein and schwarzschild came up with the foundation of general relativity in 1915 which was widely accepted and built upon by the next generation of scientists which further solidified the foundations to model the black hole black holes have properties that make it similar to other objects and some that make it stand out to an extent that after a certain point breaks our understanding of what beyond yet it only exhibits three properties mass electric charge and angular momentum because a black hole exhibits only these three properties information of objects falling into the black hole is bound to get lost as it is theorized to be uniformly distributed under the surface of the black hole gravitational and electric fields of a black hole provide little to no information on what goes inside so we'll never get to know from outside what went in because of this we lose multiple bits of information that tell us also about what and all stays conserved this is known famously as the black hole information loss paradox the most striking feature of a black hole by far is its event horizon a boundary, a boundary beyond which the escape velocities become faster than the speed of light it is called an event horizon because if anything happens within its vicinity the outside observer cannot know what just occurred as the information never makes it out general relativity predicted that anything with mass this forms space time in such a way that it bends the path taken by particle towards it while it is negligible for small objects such as ourselves larger objects such as space rocks stars and planets share this property on a much larger scale at the event horizon of a black hole this deformation becomes so strong that all paths of the particle collapse inward into the black hole another effect that gives black hole its notability is its gravitational time dilation due to this any ob- object approaching the black hole will be have its clocks run slower relative to those on the outside this causes the body from the point of view of the observer to slow down and then completely freeze at the event horizon fading into the hole becoming red up in its final moments due to the red shift this is a very rapid process on the contrary from the point of view of the body it starts falling in they see no red shift in fact we assume the body to be indestructible it just goes in its clocks tick just the way they're supposed to right above the event horizon we have something known as the photosphere which is the region that holds light down in an unstable circular ob- orbit so when anything even a small particle that has to pass through the photosphere it disturbs the light trapped This light has two probable ways to move either it gets accelerated to very high speeds and is chucked away from the black hole or its trajectory collapses inward and its only destination is the singularity that lies at infinite depth 
when the black hole is spinning there's a region present that prevents anything from staying still this is the ergosphere this is the result of a phenomena called frame dragging according to general relativity any ro rotating body tends to drag space time along with it causing the still objects surrounding the rotating object to join in. in black holes this region just outside the event horizon and here to appear to stay still you need to be moving faster than the speed of light this causes the body present in the ergosphere at times to accelerate and escape at greater speeds than they entered with this is caused due to the penrose effect and the additional energy required for this acceleration comes from the rotational energy from the black hole this effect will slow the black hole down this is likely the concept that is applied to understand quasars now if you're unfortunate enough to enter a black hole you'll be on a one way trip to the singularity it's a region inside a black hole where things that make sense stop making sense and things you don't know well you still don't make sense the singularity comes in two sizes a point size for a non rotating black hole and a ring singularity for a rotating black hole in a non rotating sober black hole the second you cross the event horizon you're on a one way trip to the singularity you can only prolong the noodle effect fate that is waiting for you at the singularity by accelerating outward but it's futile and the second you get close you'll be crushed if you're interested in supporting the artist whose work has been used in this video the pages are down in the description below If you've enjoyed this video and if you're interested in supporting content such as this consider checking out my Patreon where you'll get access to print ready versions of my own personal artworks and because this community is new you'll also be getting the opportunity to work with me on developing this community to provide value to everyone thanks for hearing me out on this bit and i hope you enjoyed the video